Okay. I'm going to leave the Pizza Cruiser for last. Pacifica. I re I jumped inside a Pacifica not too long ago. Uh, fine cars. I, I like them. I drove them. Yes, we had them too. All the Chrysler stuff. Uh, I drove plenty of them. Different trim levels too. Uh, limited touring and then the Pacifica. Yeah, definitely. Remember those. Obviously, they want to start you off with the Limited. Yes, the, the fully loaded one. Very nice interior. I mean, I, I know they've tried to do a whole lot with, with this car. Uh, all the different styling, all the different German-esque instruments and the, the wood and the, and the technology, as you can see there. Um, I mean, I like them. They were very pleasant uh, to drive. I can, I can tell you that. I drove one to Wisconsin Dells once. I specifically knew that I was going to go to Wisconsin Dells, and, and I took one. I, I was able to, you know, get them for free while I worked there. So I rented myself a Pacifica. I remember that. Yeah, good good seating too. Plenty plenty of room. Uh, you can see that. Yeah, I obviously had a few people with me. So, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, the, these controls, the adjustable pedals. I, you know, I'm trying to think if there's any other Chrysler besides the 300 that has adjustable pedals. I don't know. I can't think of any. Maybe I'm wrong. But heated seats, memory seats, remote start. Look at this old school, like a GPS for hikers. I like that. So, yeah, definitely a lot of flexibility. Second row heated seats also. All right, you have the touring, a little less fanciness, but fanciness nonetheless. You guess you you lose the wood and the shifter there, but you still have some options. So I'm guessing whatever was standard, some of these things were optional. And then you have the Pacifica, the the cheaper one. Although these weren't super cheap, but they they were, you know, they were affordable at least. Yeah, no wood at all. You have silver plasticky bits no nav just a giant speedometer in the middle no leather either i don't think or maybe it was optional um here you go more of the safety stuff i like how these brochures are laid out and i can tell you this on these keys the little hole would always break off the plastic around the hole i can tell you this so I remember this <laughs> for whatever reason we always had the little plastic bits fall off yeah look nice shot of the interior beautiful how they did it and it's interesting I have not seen this style on another Chrysler vehicle I can't think of one that you, that had this style of a steering wheel with this little bit like GM did something similar where they did the little rim around but this is this is unique as far as I know Hey, you have the climate control, CD player, wood bits, heated seats, nav. This is, once again, uh, I, I can't think of any other Chrysler product that had this style. I mean, Mercedes had that for a while. But yeah, like same thing like for these controls. Like they really did something different here. Uh, and I think it sold pretty well as far as I, I know, as far as I remember. I mean, I've seen plenty of them. Yeah, and then you have four-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, too. And then the Limited only came with all-wheel drive. All right, so you got your Pacifica. Yeah, very nice. I don't know why they reuse the Pacifica on the minivan. I mean, it's a cool name, but... Anyway, let's, let's cover this and end this today. Chrysler PT Cruiser. I don't know why I have only the convertible model. I, I thought it was... For, uh, for a normal one as well, but for some reason they decided to do the convertible different. These cars, they get a lot of bad rep these days, but I tell you, people love them. People love to rent them. We had the convertible ones. Uh, we had a few GT models in the fleet when I worked. Um, and and I, I drove them. I, obviously, they're not going to be super duper fast, but they, they were fine for the, for the time being. It was a fad car. And if the fad continued for some reason to this day, I think they would still be popular. But, you know, Chevy had the HHR. This had the uh, the PT Cruiser. Uh, you know, why not? And they, they were pretty good. Like, when we got them new, they, they were reliable, at least in the beginning. Like, I don't know what happened, you know, five years. But, you know, car rental fleets, they only use the car for like six to ten months. And then they get rid of it. They were fine. I don't think we had a whole lot of trouble with them 2.4 liter so it's a gt convertible fully loaded i did drive them 
in a convertible form. I actually did get a speeding ticket um, in, in one of these, believe it or not. I was, I was coming home from, from work. I was driving one of these and I did get pulled over. I, I mean, I wasn't racing anybody. I wasn't trying to get in trouble, but I did go over the speed limit and get, and get a ticket. So yeah, the interior you can argue is cheap and this and that, but they were fine cars. They were popular, people liked them. Uh, Cat just made an appearance again. Yeah, and then you had the normal, the, the convertible and touring edition, so. Uh, yeah, there you go. I mean, I don't know, like, what's wrong with this interior? Like, it's fine. You know, it's symmetric. It's a little weird, but the whole car is weird. Just look at this thing. You know, it suits the car. 2.4 turbo high output. Yep. I never drove the one with a stick shift, so it was the automatic. It was just like that. And then look, they have a metal here. Oh, wow. This is going to be... I'm going to have to... <laughs> I'm probably going to have to break up this video. So, yeah. Uh, all the different graphics and all that. I mean, yeah, I don't know about showing up to a fancy date in one of these. Your your significant other. Maybe if the if maybe if the the woman showed up and maybe the guy could get in like oh okay you know cute little car yeah not a whole lot of uh, manhood uh, will remain if somebody uh, shows up in one of these <laughs> even the turbo one but you know I personally think these cars are fine. Uh, they were right for their time. A lot of people were doing this retro stuff. The Volkswagen Beetle, same same idea. You take something from the past, you make it, and you make it unique. And I think they did. So you had the normal convertible, the Touring, and the GT. Obviously, the GT was the most the fun one you could have. And then look, there weren't a whole lot of room in the two, in the two door one, but the four door ones, which I for some reason don't have a brochure. Maybe I'll have them in the later. Uh, here in the, in the later brochures I'll cover um, these the, these were good for car rental fleets they were phenomenal they drove fine they were nothing nothing to complain about honestly and if you didn't like the styling you know what I'm sure there's people who don't like the styling of Camrys because they're boring right or because they're too sporty you know like me but there's a ton of people who buy them and there's millions of them sold so uh, these were popular then they died out and enough said and now we don't have and now chrysler has two vehicles in their lineup so look at this look at this variety look at all this i want this back sorry for the glare but today is a pretty good day to film when you're tilting it this way so all right in any way i know i kind of rambled on this video uh well you know was split well i know i'm gonna split it it's like over 20 minutes long at this point so here you go 1005 we'll see you next time with some more goodies